section 98 lomasa continued agastya then o son of the kurures went to king shutava shutarvan who was regarded as richer than other kings to beg for wealth and that monarch learning of the arrival of the pot born rishi on the frontiers of his kingdoms went out with his ministers and received the holy man with respect and the king dulai offering the argya in the first instance submissively and with the joined hands inquired then after the reason of the rishi's arrival and agastya answered saying o lord of the earth know that i have come to thee desirous of wealth give me a portion according to thy ability and without doing injury to others lomasa continued the king then representing on to the rishi the equality of his expenditure and income said ho learned one take thou from my possessions the wealth thou pleasest beholding however the equality of that monarch's expenditure with income the rishi who always saw both sides with equal eyes thought that if he took anything under the circumstances his act would result in injury to creatures taking therefore shutava shutarvan with him the rishi went to answa the later hearing of their arrival on his frontiers received them duly and naswa also offered them the hargyas and water to wash their feet and the monarch with their permission then inquired after the reason of their coming and agastya said ho lord of earth know that we have come to thee desirous of wealth give us what thou canst without doing injury to others lomasa continued that monarch then represented hand to them the equality of his expenditure and income and said knowing this take ye what ye desire the rishi however who saw both sides with equal eyes beholding the equality of what that monarch's income with expenditure thought that if he took anything under the circumstances his act would result in injury to all creatures agastya and shrutavarvan with the king vardhaswa then went to prokutsa san trasadasyu of enormous wealth the high sold trasadasyu learning of their arrival handa confines of his kingdom went out o king and received them well and that best of monarchs in ikshwak of line having worshiped all of them duly and inquired after the reason of their arrival and agastya answered o lord of earth know that we have all come to thee desirous of wealth give us what you can without injuring others lomasa continued that monarch then represented on to them the equality of his income with expenditure and said knowing this take ye what ye desire beholding however the equality of that monarch's expenditure with income the rishi who saw both sides with equal eyes thought that if he took anything under the circumstances his act would result in injury to all creatures then ho monarch all those kings looking at one another together spoke on to the rishis saying ho brahmana there is a dhanava of the name ilvala who of all persons on earth he is possessed of enormous wealth let us all approach him today and beg wealth of him lomasa continued this suggestion ho king of begging wealth of ilvala appeared to them to be proper and who mona or chal of them went together to ilwala after this hand the 98th section in the tirtha yatra parva after vana parva